Hey, what's going on everyone? It's a beautiful morning today out on the South Puget Sound and I'm gonna be fishing for flounder off the bottom. I'm gonna be using shrimp as the bait and a high-low rig. And uh, here, look at here, we got a, a ferry coming in. So pretty cool, glad to be out on the water. It's a slack tide, so I'm not gonna be drifting a lot. I'm just gonna be pretty much uh, sitting stationary. And again, that's gonna help me in fishing off the bottom. All right, so uh, let me get rigged up. I'll show you what that looks like and then we're gonna get after those fish. Let's go. All right, so here's that rig I'm talking about. I've got a two ounce cannonball weight that I'm fishing off the bottom. About 12 inches above that, I've got my first hook and I'm just, I've just tipped that with some shrimp. And then another 18 inches or so above that, I've got my second hook. And I'm just gonna be fishing off the bottom, uh, maintaining contact with the bottom with that weight, maybe one or two kind of cranks up off and uh, going after those fish. So let's get that in the water and get after those fish. Got him. First fish of the day. It's exactly what we're looking for, guys. Boom. Off the bottom rig. Nice. All right, we just hit bottom. Again, I'm gonna crank it, bring it up once. Look at that. Rot already got one got one on look at this that did not take long a few seconds on the bottom there he is on the top hook this time it's a little smaller than I like but um, I'm gonna end up keeping them So I'm going to keep these guys just because I don't want to put them back down in there. Alright, dropping the line. Alright, we just hit bottom. Again, I'm going to crank it, bring it up once. Look at that. I already got one. Got one on. Look at this. That did not take long. A few seconds on the bottom. There he is on the top hook this time. These are a little smaller than I'd like, but um, I'm gonna end up keeping them. All right, so I'm dropping it back down again. We'll see how quickly, how quickly we get a fish again. Okay, it's on bottom. I'm going to crank it twice and we will see. Something's tapping it, tapping it. Got him, got him. Got him, got him. Oof. All right, let's get him pulled up. This one's bigger than the last two. This is the size that we're after. Of course, we'd always prefer them even bigger than that, but this is a good one. All right, here we go, dropping it back down. Okay, it's on the bottom, one crank. Already got a fish. Look at this. That is ridiculous. Got him. Got him. There he is. Oh, it came off. All right. 
That didn't take very long though, so we'll drop that back down. Okay, it's on the bottom. One crank. Look at that rod tip. There he is. There he is. This one's pretty good. Now I brought the net just in case we come across some dogfish. Um, just because of their size, they're a little bit bigger than these guys. Yeah, there he is off the bottom one. All right, so dropping it down. All right, it's on the bottom, one crank. There it is. I don't think we got him that time. Drop it back down. Let's sit there for a second. They're hitting it. There he is. Got him. Okay, dropping it back down. I think after this go round, I'm gonna put an artificial bait on just to see how that d performs. Just try something new. This is obviously working really, really well. And I'm getting close to where I wanna be. I don't want the full limit of 15. I just want enough for maybe uh, dinner tonight. Enough for my family. There's fish already. That only took a few seconds. You can see how easy this is going. So. This one might be off. Yep, he got off. All right, so we'll drop it back down. Okay, it's on the bottom. One crank off the bottom, just wait. Already got fish hitting this. Okay. This one's pretty heavy. Look at the bend in that rod. This might be a decent one. We'll see here in a second. Yeah, he's a good one. Nice. Yeah, so he's a good one. All right, so here's what I've been using, just some shrimp. And now I'm gonna switch up and I'm gonna try this. Uh, these two inch black shad minnows. So we're gonna rig that up and see if some artificial bait doesn't work as effective as the shrimp. So let me rig that up and then we'll get fishing. So I've got my little black shad, and that's all I'm gonna do is just thread it up onto the hook. So I'm gonna try to keep it as centered as possible. Okay, I'm just gonna advance that back. Just like that. Putting it back down. 
I haven't had anything on hit that gulp and I fished that exclusively for uh, about 15 minutes uh, so I went back to shrimp on one of the hooks one crank there we are went back to shrimp and immediately started getting hits again so I may switch out the top one I really only need about two more fish for dinner there is it there's one so if he stays on I'll get this one up here get him off Ooh, he's a scrapper get him up and yeah he's he's much better than the last few might be the biggest one of the day Okay, on the bottom, one full crank. I've already got fish hitting it, look at that. Oh, see that one, look at that, there's one. All right. Two, a double. Nice. Look at this. That is how I wanted to end. I cannot believe that. I had eight fish. I said I needed to get to 10 and I was going to quit. And there it is. That is awesome. A double. Ending the day on a double. Really excited about that. There's one on the top hook. And then his bigger brother down there on the bottom. Doubled up. That is an awesome way to end the day. What a great day. Wow, what a great day fishing. We ended up with 10 flounder in just over an hour and a half. And the last two fish was a double, so that was really cool to do that. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and check out the other content on this channel. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Until next time, take care.